Hello, I am Dr. Sarah Cooper, Assistant Principal and Testing Coordinator at East High. I'm Tim Landefeld, Assistant Principal and Testing Coordinator at West High. We would like to take a couple of minutes to share some details about the upcoming State Dual Credit Challenge exams and End of Course exams, or EOCs. EOC tests are required by the state and federal government. We realize that in the face of a global pandemic, this requirement may create anxiety and frustration for our students and their families. As parents ourselves, we completely understand. What we'd like to do today is let you know what our plan is to safely administer these tests to your children beginning January 6th. Hopefully this information will help alleviate some of your concerns. First, following Christmas break, we will be following our virtual option scenario much like we did after Thanksgiving. The main difference is that we will be virtual for two weeks instead of just one. Students will be asked to remain virtual through Friday, January 15th. The only students that will be required to attend school during the first two weeks of January will be those that are scheduled to take an EOC or State Dual Credit Challenge exam. We will post the schedule via email, social media, and at the end of this video. We will not test in mass groups in the gym or the cafeteria. In fact, we will test in multiple rooms where we will keep the numbers of testers at or below 15 students. This is in an attempt to limit the possibility of exposure for students and faculty. Additionally, students will be allowed to leave and go home once their testing room has completed their exam. Once students leave, our staff will deep clean the exam room in preparation for the next day's tests. With the exception of English EOC and students with extended time accommodations, we will ask students to take all subparts of their assigned test in one day. This means students who have only one test will only come one day. Students taking an EOC English course will come two days due to the length of the exam subparts. Extended time students will come a few more times to allow for their accommodations to be met. However, those rooms will have even fewer students in them. Again, we understand that this testing window seems like an irrelevant exercise. However, it may be more important than ever for us to be able to assess our students' strengths and weaknesses. Even after a vaccine is widely available, the pandemic will leave a long-lasting impact on education in our state and country. It is up to the education community and our families to ensure that the academic impact is one we can overcome together for the sake of all our kids. It is our hope that the holiday season will find you and your family happy and healthy. See you in the new year. Stay tuned for the testing schedule.